here's another contrabassoon video for you. This time, it's a fox. This is a 1991 fox contrabassoon made by the Fox Products Corporation in Indiana, USA. This horn was played in the Cincinnati Symphony for many years by my friend Frank Heinz, who has lent me his horn for this video. Thank you very much, Frank. Again, rather than being a critical review of this horn, it's more of a factual presentation so that you can be better informed about the various contrabassoons out there. And after all, if you're informed about contrabassoons, you're a real music nerd. So kudos to you on that if you're making your way through YouTube looking for contrabassoon videos. Um, also, afterwards, I'll play some Bach again for you on this contrabassoon so you can hear how it sounds. And in full disclosure, I'm not paid at all for any of these videos, but I did get a tour of the Fox Corporation plant in Indiana where this very horn was made and the tour was given to me by Chip Owen, who is the actual guy who made this contrabassoon. So that was kind of cool. So let's take a look at this instrument. The Fox contrabassoons are modeled after 1960s heckle contrabassoons, basically. So that's the overall architecture of this horn. The Fox Company started making contrabassoons in 1971, and I got the chance to play Fox Contra number 008 when I was playing Contra in the Canton, Ohio Symphony Orchestra. I can tell you that this horn is actually much improved over that early instrument, mainly because of improvements in intonation and tone. The other thing that they changed about the Fox's in the late 80s where they started using a heavier metal for the key work. So it's more solid, more robust, but it does add to the weight a little bit. So it's a little heavier uh, of an instrument. Taking a look at the physical appearance of the horn, you can see the upper arch is done all in wood, which is a nice touch. Uh, and I understand a little more difficult to do from a woodworking perspective. The color brown is, as I understand it, the only color that this Contrabassoon was available in at the time. Today they offer brown and black, although I've never seen a black one. The key working was more customizable than the color. <laughs> you had, I think, probably up to 20 different options you could choose on the key works for different trill fingerings and alternate keys that you could have put on this horn. However, each one of those cost additional over the base model. So on this horn, what you see is rollers on the right hand thumb, and then here on the left hand. C to E flat. Um, because there's no rollers, there's actually, you can, the, the keys themselves are a little smaller, so that means they can fit into a smaller area, so you have less room that your fingers have to travel. So that can be a good thing, even though there are not a lot of rollers here on the horn. Um, the peg on this horn is somewhat of a liability because as you can see, there's no indentations along the peg. So you have to make sure it's really tight when you put the horn together, otherwise the peg will slip down while you're playing. Um, also, the metal of the peg itself is a little bit thin, which means it bends and will wobble around a little bit when you play. So not as sturdy as one might like. From a playing standpoint, the E flat above the staff needs to be done with the middle finger on the left hand, not the full three fingered E flat. That just doesn't work on this horn, so that takes a little getting used to. Also, the tone of the horn is a little bit darker compared to some other instruments, which just means you have to give a little extra horsepower if you're trying to project through the ensemble during a solo passage, for example. To compensate a little bit for that, this horn has a heckle vocal. This is a heckle C2 contrabassoon vocal, and that's what Frank used to play on this horn, and that's what he gave it to me with, so that's what I'll be playing for you today. It's a little bit of a brighter vocal, and that helps compensate for the darker tone, making a nice combination. With that in mind, here is the second minuet from the Bach Cello Suites, this time on a Fox contrabassoon from 1991. Thank you. 
Thanks for watching.